Hello, everybody. It's Garrett Galhoff here, pastor here at Eventide Online Church, and I'm here to give you some of the latest uh, breaking news throughout the world uh, on my device from various uh, various different news sources. But before that, uh, that that's because I'm Garrett the news guy. <laughs> but I'm Garrett the pastor, and I just probably within five minutes opened up the Bible, praying and asking for something to say, and I. I'm going to talk on something I've never talked on before or mentioned before out of Revelations. We're all quite aware that uh, I believe the church isn't mentioned after, what is it, chapter 4 in Revelations? Chapter 3, some people say it's in 18 or not. This is what I'm going to read, you guys. I love you guys. We're going home soon. Hey, there's hurricanes coming. There's We'll talk about Hurricane Nadine is on its way now just after. Oh, you guys, uh, Florida got hit. Uh, the It was hit with a Category 3. It went down to a 2 real fast. I saw G.S. Lewis. Lewis, I saw you on your live this morning showing the damage that's done to your house. Boy, your carport, open carport wall just ripped down. Your fence is all gone. Uh, your siding looked all bubbling on your house, but you're okay, and that's what matters, okay? Uh, G.S. Lewis, uh, G.S. News, a great channel. But I'm going to read this. Do not fear any of those things. This is Revelations 2, 10. So the church is still on the, on the earth for us uh, uh, pre-rapture believers, uh, tribulation, pre-tribulation rapture believers. Do not fear. Uh, chapter 2, verse 10. Do not fear any of those things which you are about to suffer. Indeed, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison, that you may be tested, and you will have tribulation ten days. Be faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. Okay, now tested is Strong's 3985. Um, to explore, test, try, essay, examine. Prove, attempt. The word describes the testing of the believer's loyalty, strength, opinions, disposition, condition, faith, patience, or character. Character. Uh, the word in Strong's is perazo. Okay. Para, periazo. Periazo. And it determines which way one is going and what one is made of. Are you made of iron? Are you made of love for your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Some of us, not all of us, most of us will be tested in one form or another. Um, when it says thrown into prison, some of us are in a prison of likes with what we're going through. But many believers in Christ, because we're not of this world, and we're not conformed to this world, to um, to groups, to the world, to uh, associations. Um, we're, we have a mark on our back, an X on our back, because all we got is our the love for Christ, the Holy Spirit, and the angels that protect us. And they're always protecting us. Now, I want you to know when it says 10 days, 10 days doesn't mean... 10 days or 10 months or 10 years it actually uh, the meaning is symbolic of a relatively short time okay um as in daniel one what is it one uh i got it written another allegory of this is daniel uh, let's go daniel 112 yeah Please test your servants for 10 days and let them give us vegetables to eat and water to drink. So there will be a relatively short time, and I believe we're in that time now where the believer in Christ is being persecuted on an unprecedented level throughout different segments of society. Some are going to jail for their belief. Some did in Alberta during the um, that thing, you know. You saw them being hauled down and hauled away in police cars when they opened their doors. But the government said, you can't open your doors because of the. And there's other reasons, too. 
People that believe in the Lord are being very persecuted. And sometimes some segments without them knowing, but the devil could flow through people together to get them on other things, on other acts, in trouble civically, um, stately, provincially, federally. Um, it's just the devil gets everything to come together. And that's why we have to be on guard. That's why we have to not be defensive, but offensive in praying over our family, over our members, family members, our houses, walking around our house, uh, uh, the window banisters, the door frames, the, the corners of our property. There's nothing wrong with praying protection and a hedge of protection and casting out the demonic that seeks to destroy us. See, the devil, he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And he's not going to stop unless you're on the offensive. Okay, we're living in biblical times, the end times. Of course, people are waxing worse and worse. And what's happening? What's happens like in the days of Noah, the days of Lot, when you got all these people that don't care about human life, they don't care about, they're selfish, they're greedy, they're, they're, they, they got to perform in their employment or amongst their peers. So they have to, they come after some of us for different things, for knowing Christ, for making us look fanatical, um, gossip, slander. Okay. How many churches have been split apart? I bet your church, common, has your church had a church split in the last five years? I know churches that have that have church splits every three, four, five years. Once it starts doing good, the devil gets in there through gossip, slander, selfishness, and there's a church split. Okay, you guys, I love you guys. I don't know why I tapped into this, but it's for one of you guys out there. So um, buckle up. Pray up. Okay, let's get into some news. I, I have no idea why I touched on this, but... Uh, I love you guys. I love you guys so much. Okay. Maybe there's a little more persecution coming to us in one way or another as we wait the harpazo. It says more in Matthew 24 says it too. Matthew 24 talks about being persecuted. We're going to heaven, you guys, and it's real soon. Okay. Let's get into some uh, headlines now. Okay, you guys. Uh, there's so much going on. I'm just, it's, Eight 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 o'clock, eight minutes in. Boy, I had to cancel my hernia operation on the fifteenth. Can't get anybody in here for four to six weeks, and now my knee. I think I'm bone on bone on one of my knees. <laughs> oh man! So I got to get that checked out. I'll vote phone for a doctor's appointment. Get a get an X ray done on that. But I'm gonna. We'll find somebody here, and then I'll uh, take care of all my ailments. Hey, just because we're waiting for the harpazo, take care of yourself and look ahead. Occupy, okay? Don't just focus everything you got on watching in a day, in times, days. It's exciting that we're going. It's exciting that we see the unfolding of prophecy around us. Uh, even though it's bad news, it, it picks our spirits up, knowing that, oh, Israel's surrounded. Uh, this, uh, Russia just said that. Turkey wants this. Uh, I mean, this is all prophetic. Uh, Damascus is sitting on a, you know, on a table just ready to be blasted. There's so many prophecies coming true. It's exciting because we are in the end times. We can go today. Dr. Barry, love your stuff. Uh, the 12th. Yeah, twelfth and the thirteenth, or the eleventh and the thirteenth. Very, very high watch day. This, you know, I, I'm watching those things, but I'm also going to take care of my knee. Okay, Elkhorn wildfire in the North Dakota area is causing hundreds of people to evacuate. China orders a public sector employees to hand in their passports. Why are you doing that, China? There was a Russian spy ship escorted out of NATO waters. The dangerous petroleum-based chemicals are being found in some foods. You know, I don't like it when I buy bananas. And my bananas don't go... I used to... The bananas used to go black, you know, after a few days. And you'd put them in the freezer and make banana bread. My bananas don't go black anymore. They sit on the counter like they're... I think they're coating the, the peels with some kind of a thing. How come the watermelons... The watermelons don't have black seeds? 
you know, I, 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 I got a greenhouse. I'd like to grow a watermelon plant. You can't even get a seed out of it. They're deseeding them and they don't taste as good. Ice cream. A friend of mine posted something about ice cream that she bought. She left it in the car and the next morning it wasn't melted. I mean, it, it looked like the ice cream. It didn't melt like ice cream is supposed to melt. What's going on? What's going on with the food? This is why Christ is coming back for us. He didn't make a planet for us to live in this stuff. And how many other foods? Put something in the comments about your food. It's I don't want to eat ice cream that doesn't melt. Snow. Someone was putting a tiger torch, you know, a flamethrower thing on snow, and it wasn't melting. Snow, it comes out of the sky. Is this true, or am I a conspiratist? Almost 10 million pounds of meat has been recalled by the U.S. Department of Agriculture following concerns that they may be contaminated with listeria. The ready-to-eat poultry and meat products are being recalled by Bruce Pack, an establishment from Durant, that's Oklahoma, after tests found products were positive for listerious bugs. I love you guys. Uh, I never get tired of saying that. Have you prayed to the Father this morning? You know, if... If you don't know what to say or you feel, just tell them throughout the day, you love them. I love you, Jesus. When you're driving, I love you, Jesus. When you're walking, I love you, Jesus. Right now, I love you. How many people love Jesus? Say, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Okay, while well, the North Korean late leader says he's ready to use nuclear uh, weapons to defend his country, his South Korean counterpart, has just responded, and it's worrying. South Korean President Yoon suk Yeol, during a ceremony given in honor to the armed forces and their creation, declared, if North Korea attempts to use nuclear weapons, it will face a resolute and overwhelming response from our military. He added in front of no less than 5,300 soldiers that were present at the Seoul Air Base, that this day would mark the end of the North Korean regime. And that's a report by La Figaro. La Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. A geomatic storm warning starts tonight. Oh, yeah. There's going to be powerful auroras, northern lights tonight. That go, that'll go. probably go all the way to England and for sure Arizona tonight. Tonight and tomorrow night are high, high watch days. Go out with your camera, go out with the family, find a dark spot around your little town. Uh, hopefully it's not cloudy where you live because we're getting blasted by those CMEs from an X class 1, 2 and, a, and the M class 7.7, .7, whatever. They're, they're going to hit you tonight, us tonight. Um, Hurricane Milton, I touched on that. It hit, it slammed it, it was slamming into Florida at a class three, went to a, a cat two very fast. It's at a cat one now, but it's leaving the whole Florida. But over three million customers are without power right now. And there's still storm surges. Yeah, over, over three million are without power. Hey, North Carolina, 72,000 and Georgia, 33,000. From this, Hurricane Milton. Anderson Cooper was hit. By, no, I'm not laughing. Anderson Cooper was hit by an object while he was reporting standing out in the Hurricane Milton's uh, stormy water. He was doing some Milton coverage for CNN, so he got hit. But he's okay. He's okay. Zelensky, the leader of the Ukraine, was suddenly has suddenly requested a ceasefire. He wants a ceasefire between Russia and the Ukraine. He's never really uh, gone in that direction. Oh, boy. He's, uh, but he wants this big ceasefire right now. Um, the IDF is currently destroying the last Hamas strongholds in northern Gaza. Uh, I guess they're doing that. Nearly 73,000 acres, you guys, of the Bighorn National Forests are now on fire. 
Where's that? Man, that's that's half of Wyoming. <laughs> well, it's it's big, but Wyoming's in fire right now. The previous largest fire recorded in the forest hundred year history topped around eighteen thousand acres. Well, now there's seventy three thousand acres on fire. Who's reporting on this one? You got it from me first, maybe. But over the weekend, the elk fire grew. It grew more. The wow, it grew more than twenty five thousand acres in a matter of hours. You guys, hours, hours. Anyone want my ping pong table? I'm giving it away free. Uh, what do we got here? North Korea is preparing to deploy armed forces in the Ukraine in support of Russia. But this is coming from the South Korea's defense chief, so who knows if it's saber-rattling. Um, Nadine is on a path to hit Florida. Nadine. And it's coming from the eastern side, I believe. The eastern side. Florida was just hit on the west side, went out through the eastern side, but now you got Hurricane Nadine coming into the eastern side. I'll have to check on this more for you. I'm just finding it out right now as we talk. Uh, Biden is boycotting Netanyahu and behind his back invited our defense minister, Gallant, to Washington. Netanyahu made it clear, if you don't talk to me, Gallant will not travel. Okay, let's... Uh, I'll show you what one guy did, eh? Look at this house. Those are straps over his roof. I wonder how he made out. Probably pretty good. My brother posted something on Facebook that I I didn't remember, like I was told years ago. Okay. My mother... My mother, my name is Garrett Gohoff, I'm a pastor. My mother grew up in Nazi-occupied Amsterdam, one block from Anne Frank's house. Oh, wow, eh? One block. My mom. You know, my mom was about 10, 12 years old during the Second World War under Nazi occupation in the Amsterdam, the country of Amsterdam. Um, I... She didn't have a good time, okay? Um, it was rough, tough. My mom, she didn't talk much about it, but when she did, I got some tidbits out of her. And like, uh, she had two older sisters and one sister was able to get her an egg a week, one egg a week. I mean, she ate other things, obviously. They lived off rose bulbs in Holland. They were eating rose bulbs as onions. They used 22s as a form of currency. You know, 22 shells? Because if you had a 22 gun, you could go out and get a rabbit, a pheasant, you know, maybe a squirrel. But they were used as currency. So, um, you know, keep some 22s around. Hey, we're not, we're not out of this woods yet. In North America, the switch could flip any moment, so it's okay to prep. Okay, get a couple months of three months of food. There's nothing wrong with that as we wait for the harfatsa. Some people are going around saying, "We're gone. We're not gonna." You know, they think preppers are nuts or something. I'm waiting. I believe we can go this week, but well, doesn't stop me from saving seeds for next spring having a greenhouse, you know, having enough food in the shelves for four months for me and Debbie. That should be normal stuff. I'm not crazy. You guys. Uh, White House, we are providing to Florida for Milton, they say. Uh, they got like 15 million meals, 14 million liters of waters, and on and on and on. I could go on. Okay, let's go to breaking, 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 breaking news. Stuff that just come up in the last uh, 30 minutes, if that, because I zeroed down my uh, breaking news, and I don't give it all to you. Like, Amir, 
Let's go to Amir. Since I zeroed him down, reading him all, he's got eight things up here in the last few minutes. Uh, and he doesn't say much. The sirens are going off in the Akko. That's north of Haifa. And there's dozens of interceptions right now from incoming rockets. So that's an incoming rocket alert north of Haifa. It looks like he spoke for a minute there. Uh, uh, we don't know those people's names. I'm not going to say that. Uh, Disney World in Florida. You guys, Disney World in Florida. Oh, here, let me show you a picture. Have you ever been to that house? You know, the big, look at this. You guys, a lot of water came down in Florida. What's that house called? The Fantasy House or the that Princess House or something? There's a name for that house. The Israeli Security Cabinet will meet today, you guys, to vote on the Israeli response to the Iranian missile attack. The Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman met Iran's Foreign Minister Abbas Arakachi. You guys... Oh, what's this one, you guys? The Chancellor of Germany. Germany's flipping back and forth a lot lately. The Chancellor of Germany, Olaf Scholz, in a sharp and clear statement regarding arms shipments to Israel during a conference in the Bungstad, said, We supplied Israel with weapons. We will continue to supply Israel with weapons. Soon there will be new shipments of weapons. This is the position of the government of Germany. Boy, just a couple of days ago, the big guy there. Well, that was France. Yeah. So Germany's going to keep a lot sending stuff to uh, Israel. But I think France is the one that's uh, putting the brakes on that. Uh, oh, uh, Ishmael Kwani, he's the head of Iran's Quds forces. He had a heart attack while being interrogated for the suspicion of being an Israeli agent. Wowzers. That's this guy. Oh, love is not in the air, you guys. Let's go. Okay, let's see what's uh, new on um, End Times headlines. Let's go here if there's anything new. It looks like there might be here. Oh, it's just videos. End Time headlines. Yeah. No, there's nothing. Oh, Hurricane Matthew on the left. I'm going to show you Hurricane Matthew on the left and Hurricane Milton on the right. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Hurricane Milton produced 126 tornado warnings in a single day in Florida. Okay. So uh, this is the second most tornadoes in a single day in the United States since the famous April 2011 super outbreak that happened in Alabama. You guys, the seas and the waves roaring. A volcano in Washington may be reawakening since the last eruption over 37,000 years ago. I'm not going to open it up, but there's a... Uh, oh, you want to know the name of it? Okay, let's open it up. Let's. I'll tell you the name. This, this volcano's been dead, and it's called Mount Adams in central Washington. Did you get that? Mount Adams in central Washington is waking up after 3,700 years. Sorry. 3,700, not 1,000, 3,700. California, okay, Southern California, write this down. Just kidding. Southern California has experienced the most seismic activity in decades, and experts are scrambling to try and figure out why. Southern California, that's by uh, my maps up there. I don't have my glasses, you guys. I can't see anything. I can't see. Was that New Mexico or Arizona? Okay. Attention. Attention. I told you, Milton spawned over 100 tornado warnings in Florida. 
Oh, my Lord. Multiple fatalities are reported in St. Lucie County. I don't know where that is, you guys. Oh, Lord. Yeah, mountain. A massive wildfire. Massive wildfire continues to ravage Wyoming's Bighorn National Forest, growing to 75,000 acres. Oh, come, Lord Jesus, come. Take us home. Take us home, Lord God. Okay, let's see what's going on. Uh, let's see the general here. Oh, there's a new one from the general. Clinton. Oh, Hillary Clinton's in the news. Woo, get excited. Hillary Clinton's latest book sees a significant decline in sales. It's down more than 80%. Compared to her previous uh, release, you guys. Wowzers. Um, what else do we got here? Oh, I love you guys. Oh, wow. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a break here. Calm down. Florida. Lewis, I hope you're, uh, you're okay there with what's going on. Lewis, I, I'm a carpenter. Yeah, just throw that wall up around your uh, open garage there again. You know, the fence looked like it was a cheap one anyways. Now's a good time maybe to build a good solid uh, six-foot fence unless you get along with your neighbors. Hopefully, maybe even get insurance. You know, maybe I'll fix my knee. I'll come fix it for you. I'm only kidding. I, I can't leave this area. Too much to do. Oh, my room's finished. Uh, just got one more couch coming into the prayer room, which is going to start up probably next week, week after, uh, really soon here in Tumblr Ridge. For those of you that watch me in Tumblr Ridge, probably not too many. Someone, well, who said that? It's hard. It's hard to, uh, I've been here in this town for 20 years, 20, 24 years, 24 years. Uh, you know, I ran for mayor twice, almost got in, just missed it by about 40 votes the first time. And, so um, a lot of people know me. Well, they probably knew me when I was having a couple of beers now and then, but uh, that was many years ago. And, uh, you know, I don't drink. I haven't had a sip except for that bottle of wine I told you about last year for over four years, five years. Nothing. To, I'm a pastor and I love Jesus, but I'm not perfect. And uh, a lot of people... A lot of people say hi to me. They know what I'm doing. Uh, you know, I'm not a judge, but uh, it's hard for Jesus when he did his ministry and his healing. He had a he had a harder time in his area where he grew up in his hometown. I mean, he healed everyone that asked, but not many people asked. There wasn't big revival there. Uh, everybody probably knew him as a carpenter. You know, I don't think he had any flaws though. I got flaws, so people might know that, and they. They won't want to come to my prayer meetings or hear about the rapture from me. And that and that's fine. That's okay. I hope they are got their eyes on someone across the line, someone in Alberta or something like that. I love you guys. We are going home soon. I don't know why I talked about the persecution there at the beginning. We don't want to hear that, you know, the beginning. Ten days just means a short time. So maybe there's going to be a short window of six weeks 40 days you know from something to something maybe there will be a law enacted or and we have that a few weeks of harsh persecution and then when we're raptured the revival comes because everybody's heard about the rapture by now haven't they the hard pots well not everybody i'm meeting people all the time that don't know anything about that but but when it happens everyone that you talk to and they're going to come through that big that big revival after the rapture. And yeah, but they talk about persecution then. You know, they're not going to want to take the, you know, the mark. You're condemned to hell, you guys. Do not take anything that puts someone on the pedestal as your God, as your leader, as...